Hello students, today we will study unit number 3 transformers. So in this video, we are going to understand the difference between practical transformer and ideal transformer. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay. So before understanding the differences, first of all, we will understand the simple construction of transformer that we know very well that transformer has one core. So that is core which is made with soft iron. It has one uh, primary winding like this. To the primary winding, you are supplying the voltage. So it will be input, AC input. And to the secondary winding with the help of mutual induction, what's happen? We will get voltage output. Okay. Now that is the simple construction of transformer. Now we'll talk about the difference between uh, practical and ideal transformer. That first is what there is, there are copper and eddy current losses in practical transformer. Now, copper loss means what? So, to understand this, uh, if we will supply the current from this coil or from the primary winding, then what's happened? That according to I square RT, loss is produced in this coil in form of heat. So, that much energy is lost so that is known as what that is known as copper loss why copper because windings are made with copper also eddy current loss so eddy current means what that as we know that uh, due to the mutual induction process current is induced in the secondary winding or in secondary coil but due to mutual induction process current is induced in the core material also so like this that is known as what? Eddy current. Supposing eddy current is IE and resistance of this core material is R, then in the core material also, energy is lost in form of heat, which is according to I square RT, IE square RT. So that losses are occurred due to heat. So that is the meaning of copper and eddy current loss. Okay. Now there is no loss. In ideal transformer, no loss is there. Okay, next is what efficiency is 93% to 97% for practical transformer and over here efficiency is 100%. That means in the case of uh, ideal transformer, whatever power that you will supply to the primary side, same power you can get on the secondary side. That's why ideal transformers are 100% efficient. But in the case of practical transformer, on the primary side, supposing if you have supplied 100 kilowatt power, so among them only 95 percentage or 95 kilowatt power you can transmit. Why? Because 5 kilowatt power is wasted in form of energy because in practical transformer loss is present. Okay, so that they are not 100 percentage efficient. Okay, next is what there is a leakage of flux. Now, leakage of flux means what? First of all, you'll understand the meaning of flux. Flux means what? Phi is equals to B dot A. Flux means what? Supposing if this type of area is there, supposing A, and from this area, supposing two field lines are passing, suppose three field lines are plus passing. So, A flux through this area is what? Three Weber. Okay. That means flux means what? That number of field lines passing through unit area. That is known as flux. Okay. So, over here, Current is flowing, which is which current, which is alternating current, which is changing its direction and magnitude. So due to that, what's happened? Magnetic field lines are produced like this. Magnetic field lines are produced and that field lines are passing through what? Passing through area, passing through area. That means flux is produced. Supposing over here, 100 percentage flux is produced, but among that 100 percentage flux, say 20 percentage flux is leaked. That means over here, that magnetic field lines are not passing through this area. So only 80 percentage flux is transferred. So 20 percentage flux is leaked. That is why 100 percentage power cannot be transmitted in the case of practical transformer. So that is the meaning of what leakage of flux and over here no leakage. So 100 percentage efficiency. Okay. Next is voltage regulation never 0 percentage. And over here, voltage regulation is 0%. Why? Because in the case of ideal transformer, 
hundred percentage efficiency we are getting so voltage regulation is zero and over here less than hundred percentage efficiency that's why voltage regulation never be zero okay next is its winding consists of ohmic resistance ohmic resistance means what such a wire which follow ohm's law ohm's law is what v is equals to ir so that follows ohm's law and the whatever wiring of that ideal transform is that that consists of pure inductive coil inductor means this is inductor pure inductive coil means only inductance is there and we know very well inductor is made with wire and wire has some resistance r also so we cannot eliminate resistance but over here what it is say it consists of pure inductive only l is present r is not present which is impossible that is why ideal transformer is not practically possible okay last is what all constructed transformers are practical that whatever transformer we are using that is known as a practical transformer whose efficiency is less than 100 percentage and uh, whatever ideal transformers are there whose efficiency is 100 percentage that type of transformer we cannot construct so it is impossible to construct the ideal transformer so this is all about the basic differences between ideal and practical transformer so now i would like to end this video so till then read hard work hard thank you very much